I'm Air Force veteran Ed Ruckel. Thanks for joining me. Today I want to introduce you to the Summary of Survivor Benefits. It's a brand new program. I've just added that to my VeteranFacilitator.com website. I think you're going to find the information both informative and it'll be time well spent. Before we get started, as always, if you like what I'm doing, click on that subscribe button, give me that thumbs up, and ring that notification bell to let me know that you like what I'm doing. That way I can continue to do this. And uh, with that said, let me ask you a question. If your veteran died today, how much would you know about the benefits that you and your children may be entitled to? A large percentage of the of the wives out there will tell you they don't know, and that's for several reasons. One, the veteran never talked about it. Two, the wife never asked about it. Or three, the wife did ask about it, but the veteran dismissed it as something that was unimportant and didn't take the time to explain it. With that said, I'm going to give you a high-level overview of, this, of the benefits that wives and or children, even parents, may be entitled to. So with that said, let's get started. To access my website, go to veteranfacilitator.com. After pressing the return key, you're going to be presented with my home screen. And what you need to do is, from here, go over to Programs, and then come down that list, and you're going to see Summary of Survivor Benefits. Click on that. And that's going to open up a page. You're going to have a nice little banner up here at the top, a little slide presentation, if you will. And then down here with a question, do you know what you may be entitled to after the death of your veteran? So what I've done is I've taken a number of programs that are currently out there. These are benefits that you may be entitled to, not just you, but your children as well. And if you're young enough, it might even be the veteran's parents, okay? So here's one of the programs, Dependency and Identification Compensation. So this is one of the benefits that you might be entitled to. I've given you a high-level overview here, just a little bit of a... Of, of a a synopsis, if you will. Down here are the forms. Now, these aren't hot right now, but they will be hot. So when you want to be get the forms that allow you to uh, uh, register for the uh, uh, Dependent Indemnity Compensation Program, I just come down, click on the form. It'll go right to the VA website. You can download that form, complete it as instructed, and go to the next step. Also, if you want to learn more, just click here on Learn More and it's going to go to the VA website and it will give you a lot more information here. Okay, So you just go through that information, watch your links down here at the bottom uh, where the nearest regional office is, claims, you know, getting help, filling your claim, and that sort of thing. Now, come on down, here's one for survivor's benefits. Same thing, a little bit of a synopsis, just explaining what it is. Come on down and uh, click on learn more. Again, goes right to that website. It'll have all the forms and all the other information they need, including phone numbers. So you might want to have a pen and paper ready for that one. Okay. Now, that just continue right on down the line. Now, I'm going to come down here. Here's life insurance, uh, DEA, which is uh, Dependents uh, Education Assistance, Home Guarantees, Veteran of the Month Benefits. Oh, what you see right here, if you've got questions on anything at all regarding these benefits, simply call 1-800-827-1000. They are very, very good at what they do, and they will hand carry you, hand walk you, if you will, hopefully not carry it, but hand walk you through uh, the process and provide you all the information that you need to know. Here's one on burial benefits. Now, I highlighted this one important because we not only talk about the burial benefits, but we also talk about pre-need eligibility for National Cemetery, memorialization. We talk about uh, the, mem uh, the memorial itself, the burial flags, how to get one, how to fold it, just a ton of instructions. Government headstones and markers, uh, cemetery medallions and what they are and how they work. Also got forms listed here. You just click on those when they're hot. And you go right off to that VA website. Uh, come on down to uh, a benefit, uh, burial benefits and burial automatic payments. 
here another form click on here to learn more here's one on the scholarship fund education and vocational counseling just another great website uh, you might see that there's no form here nor is there a link to the website and that's because I couldn't find one so just call 1-800-827-1000 okay answer all your questions bereavement counseling same thing call 1-800-827-1000 civil service programs commissary and exchange it just goes on it goes on it goes on and then down here is a summary chart for a lot of the ones that I just mentioned to you and that is to uh, uh, come down here for eligibility and uh, the S stands for spouse and the C stands for children a little bit of a legend down here it gives you needs based on service requirements the veterans died on active duty is a result of service connected disability and uh, also uh, a number of other factors you might find the check mark that's some of the eligibility requirements okay and there you have it just a quick high level overview of some of the survivor benefits that you and your children may be entitled to remember 1-800-827-1000 that should be your friend when you have any questions and need answers to questions with that said, don't forget, if you like what I'm doing, click on that subscribe button, give me that thumbs up, ring that notification bell, I'll continue to do what I'm doing. Till next time, have yourself a great day.